Research informs policy and practice. Those who have a voice in research help to shape provision. Research is an inherently intellectual pursuit, so those without intellectual capacity cannot take part. It can be done on them or for them, but never with them or by them. To do research, one must apprehend new meaning. These lives hold meaning. They experience meaning. To explore this meaning, it is necessary to be with them. This is more than a geographic with. It's an attunement of being. I accomplish it in my work by moving away from a Cartesian view of them in which they are seen as minds in bodies and bodies in worlds, as are we all. Looking at them through a Cartesian lens, we either see bodies broken such that they cannot express the mind within, or we perceive a, a lack of a mind within and almost not a person. Viewed through a phenomenological lens, we are not minds in bodies and bodies in worlds. We are a body-mind, a unitary phenomenon, a movement of consciousness through a world of which we are fundamentally a part. And so by viewing the people that I have worked with in this way, I have looked for the movement of their consciousness towards the places in which they place their intention or towards the intentional pulls that they experience within their landscape. And when I ask, where does your intention lie? When we can move towards a common intentional pull together, I can feel what it is to flow in consciousness with you and alongside you, to move with you, to be with you, to apprehend meaning with you, to experience meaning with you. And if I can learn what that feels like and we can move towards a new intentional pull, then we can apprehend new meaning together. We can do research together. Qualitative research that aims to account for the human experience is incomplete until all humans are recognised as belonging within it. N not only does the absence of these people further marginalise and make vulnerable and disable them through their absence in research and policy and practice, but it leaves absent from our models the aspects of ourselves that we hold in common with them. By excluding them, we deny aspects of our being. Recognising the belonging of all people within research benefits all people. <laughs>